Welcome to webisode 2 for separation processes. So this webisode is answering a question that was posed on Facebook and the question was how do you determine in this two stage problem where we have cross flow uh, the value of Z2 for the second stage. So to answer that question we'll look quickly at the first stage which has already been solved here. In the first stage we were able to solve analytically for the value of Z1. So we wrote our total mass balance and our solute mass balance and with the information we were given we were able to solve for Z1. So what we could then do was draw this point here which is our, our solvent, this point here which is our feed, this is our mass balance line with our value Z1. We could find the tie line that passes through Z1 and that gave us our compositions of the extract and the raffinate leaving stage 1. In stage 2, we took that raffinate from stage 1 and we mixed it with fresh solvent. So it still has composition down here, which is pure solvent B. It doesn't contain any C or any A. And this time we are unable to, to find Z1. However, what we do know and what we're told in the problem is that our final raffinate has 5 weight percent C. So our final raffinate, all of our raffinates sit here on this red line and 5 weight percent C, we read that off the C axis, 5 weight percent is here. So if we read all the way across, we know that this point here is the point of our final raffinate. We can construct a tie line that links that point with its corresponding extract on this side and the point where they cross will be Z2. So that's that line there. Again, this point is our final raffinate. The composition X2 was given to us in the problem statement and we can read that line off directly from our partition information from our XY graph to get this intersection and then we can just read off the value of Z2. That's the end of Webisode 2.